can we make a selection out of this this and this image with normal selection tools i don't think so but this is possible in photoshop so today we are going to explore this technique welcome to the explorian if you don't know me i am dd and i'm all about designing in photoshop and sharing the process with you and in the process we will discuss different tools techniques and tips and tricks which will level up your graphic design game and improve your workflow first of all extremely sorry that i couldn't post any video last week actually there was a small ritual kind of a thing at my home and also i was away for a couple of days but now i am back and i want to say one thing i missed you all so Without any further ado, let's get started. Today we'll be exploring another technique of background removal which is a little bit advanced. In this process, we'll be making the selection based on channels. We use it in those critical cases where there is a busy background, selection of hair or fur, uh, trees, cityscapes, etc. I think you got my point. We use it in those cases where manual selection tool is very difficult to use and it will take ages to accomplish a task like this. But if you are a beginner and have just started out, I would recommend you to watch my other videos where we have discussed the various other selection tools which are available in our tools panel. You can find the playlist by clicking on the i button above and the links of the same will be given in the description also. Okay now let's get to our first image. Our subject here will be the tree at the center. You can imagine how difficult it will be to select the subject in this image using the normal selection tools. So for this we will be using the channels for selecting our subject. But before moving ahead, let's understand what are channels. Every image we see on a digital screen have either of the two color profiles, RGB and CMYK. RGB refers to the red, green and blue and CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and key. CMYK is basically used for printing purposes. All the digital images and printed images comprises of all these three and four basic colors respectively and all other colors we see in an image are combinations of these colors. So in this process, we are going to make the selection basing on these color channels. For that, we have to separate the channels and how do we do that? Let me show you. We go to the channels panel here where we have RGB channel and separate red, green and blue channels. If you can't find it, you just have to go to the windows menu here and click on the channels here and the panel will appear and you can drag that to fit in here. Our job is to click on these thumbnails here and inspect these three channels one by one and identify the one which has got the most distinction between our subject and background. As you can clearly see, the blue channel has got the most distinction. We will be working with this. It will be different for different images. We will make a duplicate of the blue channel by clicking and dragging it to the plus icon here and now work with the duplicate channel. Never work on the original channel because if we make any changes to the original channel it is going to affect the image itself and we definitely don't want that to happen. Then keeping the blue copy channel selected we will press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the levels adjustment of this channel and we will adjust these sliders to make our subject more black and background more white like this. But don't overdo this because if you do so you will lose the details. Just find a sweet spot. I think this much will be good in this case. Remember, our main concern in this case is the tree, so focus on that and make your adjustments accordingly. When you are done, hit OK. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see some of these areas need to work. We couldn't get a clear distinction here. So what we'll do is take the dodge tool and select the highlights from here and set the exposure to around 20%. If needed, adjust your brush by pressing the left and right second bracket keys and we will paint over these areas like this. What dodge tool does is it brightens the pixels and since we have set the exposure value to a lower number, it's not affecting our tree. See? But if you increase the exposure value, it will start affecting the blacks and you will lose the details and if you decrease it too much, it will not even affect the grey. So here again, you have to find a sweet spot for that. 15 to 20 percent works for me most of the time. Let's finish our work and then we'll move on. Then we'll grab the lasso tool and make a loose selection like this and since our foreground color is white, we'll press option plus delete on Mac, alt plus backspace in Windows to fill it up with white. Press ctrl or command D to deselect. Now we're gonna load the selection and for that hold down the Ctrl or command key and click on the thumbnail here and it will load the selection. Click here to turn on the visibility of all the channels. 
then we go to the layers panel and we you will see the layer is selected with a red highlight and click on the add layer mask button here to create a mask and what is happening here we did so much of work for removing the background and we got nothing but the background don't worry everything is under control we just have to inverse the mask that's all for doing that Keep the layer mask selected and just press Ctrl or Command I and here we have our tree. See how beautifully the mask is created. And now if you want, you can grab the brush tool, change the foreground color to black and paint on these areas to hide it behind the mask. And our mask is ready. Let's add a solid adjustment layer, make it white to see if everything is fine. I think it's great. Let's take a little more complicated image and see how it works. In this image, we will try to remove the sky and only keep the cityscape. Let's inspect the channels. Nope. I think the green channel is better. Let's proceed with that. Bring up the levels and do the adjustments. I think this much will be enough. And this time keeping the green copy channel active, we will take the brush tool and select the brush color black and simply paint on the areas we want to keep in our selection. Adjust your brush size whenever needed. I want the edges of my selection here a little softer so I will be selecting the soft round brush. Change the brush color to white by pressing the X key and paint on the areas you don't want to keep. I'm not being very precise here and it will take some time and this is only to show you but I would suggest you to be more patient and do it precisely as possible for your projects. And by the way you can find all the downward links of the images I'm using today in the description in case you want to follow along and want to use it in some of your projects. We'll take the lesser tool again, make the selection and fill it up with white. Load the selection. Go to the last panel and create the layer mask. Again invert the mask and sky is removed. Let's add a solid adjustment layer, make it white and bring it to the bottom. Let's refine the mask a little bit more and for that grab the brush tool, select the layer mask and change the foreground color to black and start painting on the areas we want to hide. And this is the final result. Let's try the same technique for selection of some fur and for that I am going to use this image of a cute and lovely golden retriever. I just love dogs and also planning to adopt one. Let me know in the comments below how many of you are dog lovers. Ok let's continue. While selecting fur or hair I always do one thing. I zoom in on the image and try to mark and remember the point till where no background is visible. Because once you select the channel, your image will turn black and white and then it will be very difficult to locate those areas and your selection will not be proper in that case. Let's select the channel. No. Definitely no. I think blue is the best channel here. Let's work with that. And this time we'll take the burn tool and set the range to shadows and it works just the opposite of the dodge tool. That means it will darken the pixels and we will paint on the outside areas of the subject. Then we again take the dodge tool and select the highlights here and paint on the outside far areas like this to brighten. You can switch between the dodge and burn tool as many times you like to perfect your selection. Make the selection of the background with the lasso tool and this time we have to fill it up with black and black is our background color here. So we have to press command plus del on Mac, control plus backspace on Windows. There are some areas left here, either you can repeat the same process to fill it up with black or you can use the brush tool and paint it black. 
Now we again take the lasso tool and we gonna draw a selection of the inside of the subject. Don't include the outside drawer. And now we have to fill it up with white and white is our background color here. So what we do have to do? We have to press command plus del or control plus backspace to fill it up with white. Press control or command D to deselect. Load the selection. And if you have some areas left out like this, you can use the quick selection tool and paint over those areas to add them in the selection. Now it's done, let's go to the layers panel and create the mask. If you are worried about these green areas, don't worry, we are going to fix them. Once again, add a solid adjustment layer. Again, take the brush tool and select the layer mask. Take the soft round brush, change the foreground color to white and paint on these areas like this. If you think your selection is not okay, you can always go back to the channels panel, delete the layer mask here. Turn off the visibility of all the channels except the blue copy channel and again use the dodge and burn tool to refine your selection. Again load the selection and create the layer mask. See, this time it's much better. You can repeat this process as many times you want till you are satisfied. And for this part we can use the brush tool to mask it out. Now let's take care of these green fringes here. For that, we will create a new layer and clip it to our subject layer. Whatever we now draw or paint on this layer will only affect the subject layer below it. Keeping the new layer selected, take the brush tool, hold down the Alt or Option key, you will see that the color picker tool will be activated temporarily. Click on an area like this to pick the color and paint on the edges like this. Repeat the process to take more color samples so that it looks more realistic. And finally we will change the blend mode of this layer to lighten. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. It's a small thing for you but it means a lot for me. Please leave a comment if you want me to improve on something and share it with your friends. And for more such videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see my creations with the images we use today, you can watch this video. You can also connect with me on Pinterest and Instagram. Links are given in the description. Stay tuned as I'll be back soon with a new video. Till then, take care, goodbye and keep nurturing your creative spirit.